गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट द प्राइम सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑपरेशन प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर टू सिक्स जीरो वन वी विल बी लुकिंग एट द ऑप्टिमल सोल्यूशन अप्री रिक्विजिट बिफोर वॉचिंग दिस इज टू वॉच माई वीडियो ऑन सीव ऑफ इराटोज थिंस यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो नाउ लेट्स रीड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन अ जीरो इंडेक्स इन टीजर आर ए नम्स ऑफ लेंथ एंड यू कैन परफॉर्म द फॉलोइंग ऑपरेशन एज मेनी टाइम्स एज यू वॉन्ट पिक एन इंडेक्स आई दैट यू हैवन पिक बिफोर एंड पिक अ प्राइम पी स्ट्रिक्टली लेस दैन नम्स आई देन सब्ट्रैक्ट पी फ्रॉम द नम्स आई रिटर्न ट्रू इफ यू कैन मेक नम्स अ स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग एरे यूजिंग द एब ऑपरेशन अदरवाइज यू रिटर्न फॉल्स अ स्ट्रिक्टली इंक्रीजिंग एरे इज एन एरे हुज ईच एलिमेंट इज स्ट्रिक्टली ग्रेटर दैन इट्स प्रोसीडिंग एलिमेंट दैट मीन्स देर विल बी नो रिपीटिंग एलिमेंट्स नाउ लेट्स लुक एट द कंस्ट्रेंट इन द कंस्ट्रेंट सेक्शन यू विल फाइंड दैट the nums array is of size 1000 and each of the value will be no more than 1000 and all the numbers are positive right now let's look at an example for better understanding in this case let's say we are given an array 496 and our goal is to check if we can make this array strictly increasing strictly increasing means there will be no repeating values and it will be a monotonically increasing curve right the operation which is allowed is we can take any item of the array let's say ai and we can take a prime number p and this prime number has to be strictly less than ai in such a way that i can subtract this prime number from ai and can reduce the value of this ai right so this is the operation allowed now the problem ask about can we apply these operations zero or one time on each of these indices in such a way that we can generate a strictly increasing curve now in this case if we see 496 is it strictly increasing no if it was already strictly increasing like it was 4916 then we do not need to apply any operation right but in this case it is not strictly increasing so can we make it strictly increasing now if you look at it for this first value if we have any prime number which is less than 4 let's take 2 2 is also a prime number so i can reduce this 4 to 2 by subtracting by 2 so this 4 can be reduced to 2 Similarly this 9 can be reduced to 4 by subtracting with 5 because 5 is a prime number less than 9 and 6 uh, can be left as it is so the values which i get is 2 4 6 and this is strictly increasing this is one configuration another set of configuration could have been let's reduce this 4 to 1 by subtracting by 3 let's reduce this 9 to 2 by subtracting by 7 because 7 is also a prime number less than 9 and you can leave 6 as it is or you can just uh, subtract 3 from 6 and make it uh, 3 okay so this is also a strictly increasing curve and there can be multiple such configurations possible but i don't care if there is at least one such configuration possible which is strictly increasing then i will always return true and if there are no such configuration possible like in this case 583 then i will be returning false in this 583 if i try to reduce it by any prime number then what are the prime numbers less than 5 it is 2 and 3 so if you try to reduce even by 3 and make it equals to 2 reduce this 8 by let's say 7 you it, it will be 1 but then 1 is actually uh, smaller than 2 we want to make strictly increasing so i will just subtract with 5 and make it 3 but what about this 3 uh, if we want to reduce this 3 uh, then it will only reduce it cannot increase the value right so definitely we will not be able to make this strictly increasing and hence we will be returning false so i think the problem statement is clear now if we think about the simplest possible approach then let's say our given array is having 496 and i want to uh, find out a strictly increasing curve which i can make out of the given array so what i will do is i will try out with all the possible prime numbers and try to reduce a number uh by subtracting the prime numbers so what i will do is i will have to find out the prime numbers from 2 to array at i array at i minus 1 because uh the prime number has to be less than array at i right so i will take the max value of the prime number to be array at i minus 1 so i have to do primality test for all the numbers starting from 2 to 4 minus 1 that is 3 and each of the time i will be uh, trying out one possible combination so one time i will be trying out by subtracting by 2 it will become 2 and in and in other combination i will be subtracting by 3 and i will try to make it 1 similarly for this 9 i will be trying out mul multiple possibilities subtracting by 2 subtracting by 3 subtracting by 5 and maybe subtracting by 7 as well right 
so there will be a lot of combinations and we are again and again checking for primality for the same numbers right so this is not a good strategy it is better that we pre-compute all the primes so we will not be solving it by brute force technique but we will be solving it by optimally by uh, pre-computing the primes and how do we pre-compute primes from 1 to a given number n we will use the sieve of Eratosthenes method right so i hope you have watched my video on that so let's say our given array is 496 now in this case the maximum primality test that i will have to do will always be less than the maximum value of the array okay because for 4 the operations will be required for all the prime numbers less than 4 for this 9 we require all the prime numbers less than 9 and for this 6 we require all the prime numbers less than 6 so what is the maximum prime number we require the maximum prime number required will be all the prime numbers less than 9 okay so i'll take the max element of this array and try to find out all the primes from 1 to that uh, max value minus 1 okay so let's take the simply the max value and try to do the primality test so i will be taking uh, the boolean array is prime and i will be defining a size max value plus 1 and i will say that all the elements are true that means all the numbers are initially prime numbers that is what i will assume and i will start iterating from 2 and if i see that it is a prime number then i will mark all its multiples false saying that they are non primes and again i will iterate to number 3 and if i see that it is a prime number then i will mark all its multiples as non primes right and until when i will be uh, going in this iteration i will be going till square root of n i had already explained this in the sieve of eratosthenes right so i will stop at this 3 now i will be iterating for all the numbers from 2 to the last element and i will be saving it into the primes array so what all are the primes we have 2 because it is true 3 is prime then 5 is prime then you have 7 as prime okay and uh, no other numbers so these are all the prime numbers so we can pre-compute all the primes in the range of 1 to uh, maximum value or maximum value minus one okay so this is step number one so if you think about uh, the maximum value will be an item r let's say then this uh, time complexity for this approach will be r log log r which is the same as the sieve of eratosthenes right now let's think about an operation strategy let's say that our given array is having 10 20 abc now abc are all unknown values they can all be greater than uh, 10 or 20 or can be less than 10 or 20 or in between 10 and 20 i don't know what are all these three values but they can be any values now i have to make a decision of should i reduce this array at zero or not should i reduce this array at one or not now if you think about it carefully then it will always be optimal that if i can make the starting point go as low as possible the chances will increase to make the entire curve as strictly increasing right if you have a higher starting point then the chances will be less to make a strictly increasing curve while if you had started let's say at one then won't the chance of making this uh, strictly increasing be higher it will always be at least equal or greater right so it is always optimal to reduce the numbers on the left hand side as much as you can so how much maximum value i can reduce this 10 to i can reduce it to by uh, by subtracting the maximum prime number less than 10 there are many options right what are the prime numbers less than 10 we have 2 3 5 7 these are all the prime numbers less than 10 but then what is the maximum prime number less than 10 it is 7 so it will always be optimal to reduce it by 7 and reach to a number 3 okay now if you look at this number 20 and we follow the same technique then i will say that 19 is the largest prime number less than 20 but if i reduce by 19 then it will become one and we are trying to make the strictly increasing curve right so isn't this assumption wrong now yes it is wrong at this point of time because we did not assume uh, the difference value we should take the difference value rather than just taking the largest prime less than uh, the current number 20 we should always take the difference value in account you see the previous value was 3 so i should make sure that the prime number is not very large in such a way that this 20 is reduced to a number less than equals to 3 okay and how can i make sure about it 
what I do is what is the current number it is 20 the previous reduced number is 3 so I subtract and find out the new number 17 and this is the effective new number I want to find a prime number which is less than uh, this 17 and is the largest prime so what is that prime it will be uh, 13 right so if I reduce by 13 it will be the optimal step and this will become 7 right if I reduce with the next prime number which is 17 then this will become 3 and so they are equal and so they cannot be strictly increasing right so we have to take care so whenever we are seeing a current element we have to always find the difference which is equals to the current element minus the previous element and now to this difference actually we want to find the largest prime less than the difference value okay so this is my goal or i can just subtract one from here and say that i want to find the largest prime less than equals to the difference value so i hope you have understood the strategy now this will always be correct and it will always be optimal right so this is the greedy approach now in step two we will be operating on all the indices and try to reduce them in order to make them strictly increasing so let's say our given array is same as 496 in step number one we had find, found all the primes in the range of one to the maximum value of the array right which is nine so having found this if i want to reduce this four then i will want to reduce it as much as possible and so since the prime number the candidate prime number i want to search will be less than four so i will just subtract one from it and i will say that find out a prime number less than equals to three largest prime less than equals to three for that to happen you can simply do a linear search on the prime array and you will find three but that will take linear time instead of that why don't we do binary search and yes binary search will be optimal so what i want to do is i want to find out lower bound of three the lower bound of three will give you the index which is having a value greater than equals to three so it will return you index one if let's say i was finding lower bound of four then it will uh, give the index two right but in this case three is present so it will give the first occurrence of three which is index one so now i will be just subtracting this three and make it one so this is my operation now for this nine what i want to do is the current value is array at i is nine what is the previous value which is array at i minus one it is one this is the reduced value okay so this is one what is the diff value it is equals to nine minus one okay so nine minus one is it so i want to find the largest prime less than the diff value but if i want to make it less than equals to diff value then i will just be subtracting one from it and i say that i want to find the largest prime less than equals to seven so i will do lower bound and i will be stopping at this three which is having a value seven right so i will subtract seven from it and i will make it two okay now i will check for this six so for this six what is the current item six what is the previous item two so i want to find the largest prime less than four or i can just subtract one from it and say that i want to find the largest prime less than equals to three so i will do a lower bound on three and i will stop at index one so this will be uh, giving a value three so just subtract three from it and you will reach to a value three here so this is strictly increasing right we could always solve it so it is strictly increasing and hence i will return true in this case but if you look at another example of 583 then what happens in this case uh, what are all the primes in the range of uh, 1 to 8 that will be 2 3 and 5 7 right so again the same prime array. now in this case if i want to reduce this 5 then i will be doing lower bound on 4 right and if you do lower bound on 4 then uh, you will stop at this index number 2 okay so this is having a higher value so you will go to the previous index right so what is the largest prime which is less than equals to 4 it is 3 so you'll be subtracting 3 from here and this will be 2 now for this 8 you will be doing again lower bound of 8 minus the previous item 2 minus 1 which will be lower bound on 5 so if you do lower bound on 5 you will stop at index 2 you will be subtracting 5 from here and you will be reaching to 3 for this 3 what is the previous item it is 3 right so i want to do lower bound on 3 minus 3 minus 1 which will be equals to lower bound on minus 1 since this is a negative number you will not find anything you will stop at this first item and this is larger so when you go back it will be index minus 1 so this is invalid that means you cannot perform any operation on this and that is why we will return false 
saying that it is not possible to make it strictly increasing. So I hope you were able to understand this. Now let's see the time complexity of this entire optimal solution. The first step was about uh, finding all the primes from 1 to the maximum value. I am assuming maximum value uh, by r and so the time complexity will be r log log r and then in the step number 2 we were iterating for all the numbers in the array and so let's say there are n items in the array so i will be using an n factor and i will be doing binary search on the primes array right so log factor for the number of primes now according to the prime number theorem for large r value you can say that the number of primes less than equals to r is given by the formula of r ln r where ln is the natural log okay so in this case if these are the number of primes then uh, since i am doing binary search on that so i'll be doing log base 2 of r by ln r okay so this is the entire time complexity the space complexity in this case will be order of r for the sieve of eratosthenes and the number of primes r by ln r is also considered in the space because we were creating the primes array but then this is much less than the sieve of eratosthenes space right so i hope the time and space complexity is clear let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this code we are given the nums array and uh, this is like step number one this is the sieve of eratosthenes code so i will be finding all the prime numbers in the range of one to max value and I will be pushing all those prime numbers in the primes array. After having done that, we will apply the greedy operation on each of the item by iterating through them one by one. So when I go to an item, I will find the diff value as I had explained. And then I will be doing lower bound search of finding the largest prime less than equals to the diff value. Once I find them, then I will be checking for some boundary because uh, maybe we will not be able to find the prime number and we might go out of bound so we will be adjusting the pointer or otherwise if i see a, a number which is actually larger than the diff value then i will be adjusting it back as i had shown in the second examples dry run right now if the lower bound index is less than zero but if we were doing it for the first item then for the first item i don't need to reduce it even if it is not possible i'll just go to the next item so this is that case or if the current item x is greater than the item a and I, I could not reduce x still it is fine it's not a problem right so we will continue to the next item otherwise if none of these two cases occur then i will be returning false that it is not possible to reduce them because if x was less than equals to a uh, then i want to make it strictly increasing right so i could not do anything in this case so after having done all the steps uh, we will be reducing the current item with the largest prime less than the current item and I will be repeating it for all the items in the array. And finally, if I can do all the reduction properly, then I will be uh, returning true saying that it is possible to make the entire array strictly increasing under the given constraint of prime number reduction. So I hope this code is clear. If you still have any doubt, then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.